Palm oil, Wikipedia article audio. Palm oil is an edible vegetable oil derived from the mesocarp of the fruit of the oil palms, primarily the African oil palm Elias guineensis, and to a lesser extent from the American oil palm Elias oleifer and the Maripa palm Italia Maripa. History Composition Fatty acids Carotenes Processing and use Refining Red palm oil White palm oil Butter and trans fat substitute Biomass and bioenergy In wound care Production Indonesia Malaysia Nigeria Thailand Colombia Other countries Benin Cameroon Kenya Ghana Social and environmental impacts Social Food versus fuel Environmental Palm oil is naturally reddish in color because of a high beta-carotene content. It is not to be confused with palm kernel oil derived from the kernel of the same fruit, or coconut oil derived from the kernel of the coconut palm. The differences are in color, and in saturated fat content, palm mesocarp oil is 49% saturated while palm kernel oil and coconut oil are 81% and 86% saturated fats, respectively. However, crude red palm oil that has been refined, bleached and deodorized, a common commodity called RBD palm oil, does not contain carotenoids. Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil Markets Along with coconut oil, palm oil is one of the few highly saturated vegetable fats and is semi-solid at room temperature. Palm oil is a common cooking ingredient in the tropical belt of Africa, Southeast Asia, and parts of Brazil. Its use in the commercial food industry in other parts of the world is widespread because of its lower cost and the high oxidative stability of the refined product when used for frying. One source reported that humans consumed an average 17 pounds of palm oil per person in 2015. Food Label Regulations Supply Chain Institutions The use of palm oil in food products has attracted the concern of environmental activist groups, the high oil yield of the trees has encouraged wider cultivation, leading to the clearing of forests in parts of Indonesia and Malaysia to make space for oil palm monoculture. This has resulted in significant acreage losses of the natural habitat of the three surviving species of orangutan. One species in particular, the Sumatran orangutan, has been listed as critically endangered. In 2004, an industry group called the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil was formed to work with the palm oil industry to address these concerns. Additionally, in 1992, in response to concerns about deforestation, the government of Malaysia pledged to limit the expansion of palm oil plantations by retaining a minimum of half the nation's land as forest cover. In March 2017, a documentary made by Deutsche Well revealed that palm oil is used to make milk substitutes to feed calves and dairies in the German Alps. These milk substitutes contain 30% milk powder and the remainder of raw protein made from schemed milk powder, whey powder, and vegetable fats, mostly coconut oil and palm oil. Humans used oil palms as far as 5,000 years back. In the late 1800s, archaeologists discovered a substance that they concluded was originally palm oil in a tomb at Abydos dating back to 3000 BCE. 
it is believed that traders brought oil palm to Egypt. Palm oil from Ekenensis has long been recognized in West and Central African countries, and is widely used as a cooking oil. European merchants trading with West Africa occasionally purchased palm oil for use as a cooking oil in Europe. Palm oil became a highly sought-after commodity by British traders, for use as an industrial lubricant for machinery during Britain's Industrial Revolution. Palm oil formed the basis of soap products, such as Lever Brothers Sunlight Soap, and the American Palm Olive brand. By around 1870, palm oil constituted the primary export of some West African countries, such as Ghana and Nigeria, although this was overtaken by cocoa in the 1880s. Palm oil, like all fats, is composed of fatty acids, esterified with glycerol. Palm oil has an especially high concentration of saturated fat, specifically the 16-carbon saturated fatty acid, palmitic acid, to which it gives its name. Monounsaturated oleic acid is also a major constituent of palm oil. Unrefined palm oil is a significant source of tocotrienol part of the vitamin E family. The approximate concentration of esterified fatty acids in palm oil is Red palm oil is rich in carotenes, such as alpha-carotene, beta-carotene and lycopene, which give it a characteristic dark red color. However, palm oil that has been refined, Bleached and deodorized from crude palm oil does not contain carotenes. Many processed foods either contain palm oil or various ingredients made from it. After milling, various palm oil products are made using refining processes. First is fractionation with crystallization and separation processes to obtain solid and liquid fractions. Then melting and degumming removes impurities. Then the oil is filtered and bleached. Physical refining removes smells and coloration to produce refined, bleached and deodorized palm oil and free fatty acids, which are used in the manufacture of soaps, washing powder and other products. Redpo is the basic palm oil product sold on the world's commodity markets. Many companies fractionate it further to produce palm oil for cooking oil, or process it into other products. Since the mid-1990s, red palm oil has been cold pressed and bottled for use as cooking oil, and blended into mayonnaise and salad oil. Oil produced from the fruit itself is called red palm oil or just palm oil. It contains around 50% saturated fat considerably less than palm kernel oil and 40% unsaturated fat and 10% polyunsaturated fat. In its unprocessed state, red palm oil has a deep red color because of its abundant carotene content. Like palm kernel oil, Red palm oil contains around 50% medium-chain fatty acids but it also contains the following nutrients. White palm oil is the result of processing and refining. When refined, the palm oil loses its deep red color. It is extensively used in food manufacture and can be found in a variety of processed foods including peanut butter and chips. It is often labeled as palm shortening and is used as a replacement ingredient for hydrogenated fats in a variety of baked and fried products. The highly saturated nature of palm oil renders it solid at room temperature in temperate regions, making it a cheap substitute for butter or trans fats in uses where solid fat is desirable, such as the making of pastry dough and baked goods. A recent rise in the use of palm oil in the food industry has partly come from changed labeling requirements that have caused a switch away from using trans fats. Palm oil has been found to be a reasonable replacement for trans fats, 
however, a small study conducted in 2009 found that palm oil may not be a good substitute for trans fats for individuals with already elevated LDL levels. The USDA Agricultural Research Service states that palm oil is not a healthy substitute for trans fats. Palm oil is used to produce both methyl ester and hydrodeoxygenated biodiesel. Palm oil methyl ester is created through a process called transesterification. Palm oil biodiesel is often blended with other fuels to create palm oil biodiesel blends. Palm oil biodiesel meets the European N14214 standard for biodiesels. Hydrodeoxygenated biodiesel is produced by direct hydrogenolysis of the fat into alkanes and propane. The world's largest palm oil biodiesel plant is the Finnish operated Nest Oil Biodiesel Plant in Singapore, which opened in 2011 and produces hydrodeoxygenated Nextel biodiesel. The organic waste matter that is produced when processing oil palm including oil palm shells and oil palm fruit bunches, can also be used to produce energy. This waste material can be converted into pellets that can be used as a biofuel. Additionally, palm oil that has been used to fry foods can be converted into methyl esters for biodiesel. The used cooking oil is chemically treated to create a biodiesel similar to petroleum diesel. Although palm oil is applied to wounds for its supposed antimicrobial effects, research does not confirm its effectiveness. In 2012, the annual revenue received by Indonesia and Malaysia together, the top two producers of palm oil, was $40 billion. Between 1962 and 1982 global exports of palm oil increased from around half a million to 2.4 million tons annually and in 2008 world production of palm oil and palm kernel oil amounted to 48 million tons. According to FAO forecasts by 2020 the global demand for palm oil will double, and triple by 2050. Indonesia is the world's largest producer of palm oil, surpassing Malaysia in 2006, producing more than 20.9 million tons. Indonesia expects to double production by the end of 2030. At the end of 2010, 60% of the output was exported in the form of crude palm oil. FAO data show production increased by over 400 percent between 1994 and 2004, to over 8.66 million metric tons. In 2012, Malaysia, the world's second largest producer of palm oil, produced 18.79 million tons of crude palm oil on roughly 5 million hectares of land. Though Indonesia produces more palm oil, Malaysia is the world's largest exporter of palm oil having exported 18 million tons of palm oil products in 2011. China, Pakistan, the European Union, India and the United States are the primary importers of Malaysian palm oil products. As of 2011, Nigeria was the third largest producer with approximately 2.3 million hectares under cultivation. Until 1934, Nigeria had been the world's largest producer. Both small and large-scale producers participated in the industry. Thailand is the world's third largest producer of crude palm oil, producing approximately 2 million tons per year, or 1.2% of global output. 95% of Thai production is consumed locally. Almost 85% of palm plantations and extraction mills are in South Thailand. At year end 2016, 4.7 to 5.8 million rai were planted in oil palms, employing 300,000 farmers, 
mostly on small land holdings of 20 rye. ASEAN as a region accounts for 52.5 million tons of palm oil production, about 85% of the world total and more than 90% of global exports. Indonesia accounts for 52.2% of world exports. Malaysian exports total 37.9%. The biggest consumers of palm oil are India, the European Union, and China, with the three consuming nearly 50% of world exports. Thailand's Department of Internal Trade usually sets the price of crude palm oil and refined palm oil. Thai farmers have a relatively low yield compared to those in Malaysia and Indonesia. Thai palm oil crops yield 4-17% oil compared to around 20% in competing countries. In addition, Indonesian and Malaysian oil palm plantations are 10 times the size of Thai plantations. In the 1960s, about 18,000 hectares were planted with palm. Colombia has now become the largest palm oil producer in the Americas, and 35% of its product is exported as biofuel. In 2006, the Colombian Plantation Owners Association, Feed Palma, reported that oil palm cultivation was expanding to 1 million hectares. This expansion is being funded, in part, by the United States Agency for International Development to resettle disarmed paramilitary members on arable land and by the Colombian government, which proposes to expand land use for exportable cash crops to 7 million hectares by 2020, including oil palms. Feed Palma states that its members are following sustainable guidelines. Some Afro-Colombians claim that some of these new plantations have been expropriated from them after they had been driven away through poverty and civil war while armed guards intimidate the remaining people to further depopulate the land, with coca production and trafficking following in their wake. Palm is native to the wetlands of western Africa, and South Benin already hosts many palm plantations. Its agricultural revival program has identified many thousands of hectares of land as suitable for new oil palm export plantations. In spite of the economic benefits, non-governmental organizations, such as Nature Tropy Kale, claim biofuels will compete with domestic food production in some existing prime agricultural sites. Other areas comprise peat land, whose drainage would have a deleterious environmental impact. They are also concerned genetically modified plants will be introduced into the region jeopardizing the current premium paid for their non-GM crops. Carotenoids such as alpha and beta-carotene and lycopene, sterols, vitamin E, antioxidants in the form of flavonoids and phenolic acid. Nutrition and Health Palmitic Acid Book and Claim No guarantee that the end product contains certified sustainable palm oil supports RSPO certified growers and farmers, identity preserved, the end user is able to trace the palm oil back to a specific single mill and its supply base, segregated, this option guarantees that the end product contains certified palm oil, mass balance, the refinery is only allowed to sell the same amount of mass balance palm oil as the amount of certified sustainable palm oil purchased. Cameroon had a production project underway initiated by Heracles Farms in the U.S. However, the project was halted under the pressure of civil society organizations in Cameroon. Before the project was halted, Heracles left the round table on sustainable palm oil early in negotiations. The project has been controversial due to opposition from villagers and the location of the project in a sensitive region for biodiversity. 
Kenya's domestic production of edible oils covers about a third of its annual demand, estimated at around 380,000 metric tons. The rest is imported at a cost of around 140 million US dollars a year, making edible oil the country's second most important import after petroleum. Since 1993 a new hybrid variety of cold tolerant, high-yielding oil palm has been promoted by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations in western Kenya. As well as alleviating the country's deficit of edible oils while providing an important cash crop, it is claimed to have environmental benefits in the region because it does not compete against food crops or native vegetation and it provides stabilization for the soil. Ghana has a lot of palm nut species, which may become an important contributor to the agriculture of the region. Although Ghana has multiple palm species, ranging from local palm nuts to other species locally called agric, it was only marketed locally and to neighboring countries. Production is now expanding as major investment funds are purchasing plantations, because Ghana is considered a major growth area for palm oil. The palm oil industry has had both positive and negative impacts on workers, indigenous peoples, and residents of palm oil producing communities. Palm oil production provides employment opportunities and has been shown to improve infrastructure, social services, and reduce poverty. However, in some cases, oil palm plantations have developed lands without consultation or compensation of the indigenous people occupying the land, resulting in social conflict. The use of illegal immigrants in Malaysia has also raised concerns about working conditions within the palm oil industry. Some social initiatives use palm oil cultivation as part of poverty alleviation strategies. Examples include the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's Hybrid Oil Palm Project in western Kenya, which improves incomes and diets of local populations, and Malaysia's Federal Land Development Authority and Federal Land Consolidation and Rehabilitation Authority, which both support rural development. The use of palm oil in the production of biodiesel has led to concerns that the need for fuel is being placed ahead of the need for food, leading to malnutrition in developing nations. This is known as the food versus fuel debate. According to a 2008 report published in the Renewable and Sustainable Energy Reviews, palm oil was determined to be a sustainable source of both food and biofuel. The production of palm oil biodiesel does not pose a threat to edible palm oil supplies. According to a 2009 study published in the Environmental Science and Policy Journal, palm oil biodiesel might increase the demand for palm oil in the future, resulting in the expansion of palm oil production, and therefore an increased supply of food. Palm oil cultivation has been criticized for impacts on the natural environment, including deforestation, loss of natural habitats, which has threatened critically endangered species such as the orangutan and Sumatran tiger, as well as increased greenhouse gas emissions. Many palm oil plantations are built on top of existing peat bogs, and clearing the land for palm oil cultivation contributes to rising greenhouse gas emissions. Efforts to portray palm oil cultivation as sustainable have been made by organizations including the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil, an industry lobby group, as well as the Malaysian government, which has committed to preserve 50% of its total land area as forest. According to research conducted by the Tropical Peat Research Laboratory, a group studying palm oil cultivation in support of the industry, oil palm plantations act as carbon sinks, converting carbon dioxide into oxygen. Also, 
according to Malaysia's second national communication to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the plantations contribute to Malaysia's status as a net carbon sink, which considers unvegetated bare ground as its baseline, and not the carbon released as a consequence of the removal of the original native forest cover. Environmental groups such as Greenpeace and Friends of the Earth oppose the use of palm oil biofuels, claiming that the deforestation caused by oil palm plantations is more damaging for the climate than the benefits gained by switching to biofuel and utilizing the palms as carbon sinks. While only 5% of the world's vegetable oil farmland is used for palm plantations, Palm cultivation produces 38% of the world's total vegetable oil supply. In terms of oil yield, a palm plantation is 10 times more productive than soya bean and rapeseed cultivation because the palm fruit and kernel both provide usable oil. The Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil was created as a lobby group by industry in 2004 following concerns raised by non-governmental organizations about environmental impacts related to palm oil production. The organization has established international standards for sustainable palm oil production. Products containing certified sustainable palm oil can carry the RSPO trademark. Members of the RSPO include palm oil producers, environmental groups, and manufacturers who use palm oil in their products. Palm oil growers who produce certified sustainable palm oil have been critical of the organization because, though they have met RSPO standards and assumed the costs associated with certification, the market demand for certified palm oil remains low. Low market demand has been attributed to the higher cost of certified sustainable palm oil, leading palm oil buyers to purchase cheaper non-certified palm oil. Palm oil is mostly fungible. In 2011, 12% of palm oil produced was certified sustainable, though only half of that had the RSPO label. Even with such a low proportion being certified, Greenpeace has argued that confectioners are avoiding responsibilities on sustainable palm oil, because it says that RSPO standards fall short of protecting rainforests and reducing greenhouse gases. According to the Hamburg-based Oil World Trade Journal, in 2008 global production of oils and fats stood at 160 million tons. Palm oil and palm kernel oil were jointly the largest contributor, accounting for 48 million tons, or 30% of the total output. Soybean oil came in second with 37 million tons. About 38% of the oils and fats produced in the world were shipped across oceans. Of the 60 million tons of oils and fats exported around the world, palm oil and palm kernel oil made up close to 60%. Malaysia, with 45% of the market share, dominated the palm oil trade. Previously, palm oil could be listed as vegetable fat or vegetable oil on food labels in the European Union. From December 2014, Food packaging in the EU is no longer allowed to use the generic terms vegetable fat or vegetable oil in the ingredients list. Food producers are required to list the specific type of vegetable fat used, including palm oil. Vegetable oils and fats can be grouped together in the ingredients list under the term vegetable oils or vegetable fats but this must be followed by the type of vegetable origin and the phrase in varying proportions. The Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil was established in 2004 following concerns raised by non-governmental organizations about environmental impacts resulting from palm oil production. The organization has established international standards for sustainable palm oil production. Products containing certified sustainable palm oil can carry the RSPO trademark. 
Members of the RSPO include palm oil producers, environmental groups, and manufacturers who use palm oil in their products. The RSPO is applying different types of programs to supply palm oil to producers. Green Palm is one of the retailers executing the book and claim supply chain and trading program. It guarantees that the palm oil producer is certified by the RSPO. Through Green Palm the producer can certify a specified amount with the Green Palm logo. The buyer of the oil is allowed to use the RSPO and the Green Palm label for sustainable palm oil on their products. Contributing significant calories as a source of fat, palm oil is a food staple in many cuisines. On average globally, humans consumed 17 pounds of palm oil per person in 2015. Although the relationship of palm oil consumption to disease risk has been previously assessed, the quality of the clinical research specifically assessing palm oil effects has been generally poor. Consequently, research has focused on the deleterious effects of palm oil and palmitic acid consumption as sources of saturated fat content in edible oils, leading to conclusions that palm oil and saturated fats should be replaced with polyunsaturated fats in the diet. Excessive intake of palmitic acid, which makes up 44% of palm oil, increases blood levels of low-density lipoprotein and total cholesterol, and so increases risk of cardiovascular diseases. Other reviews, the World Health Organization, and the U.S. National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute have encouraged consumers to limit the consumption of palm oil, palmitic acid and foods high in saturated fat.